Very good morning to you, Mzanzi Africa. Happy Youth Day! Beautiful. Come on. Beautiful, Beautiful man. Listen, listen, it's going to be an amazing one as we celebrate a historic day in South African history. Yeah, no, completely. And I, I think yeah, we were we were talking earlier. As much as we've got to broach terrible atrocities today as part of the the 1976 student uprising, it's an opportunity to inspire this morning. The youth really are the beating heart of South Africa, and you have a role to play more so now than you ever had. So we're going to inspire yeah. you with young leaders like Sylvester Chagwe, an entrepreneur who is doing amazing things. Only 26 years old, sure, sure. and he is owning his industry. That's mm. absolutely amazing. incredible. Then we're also joined by the Five FM team, Nick Hammond and Carmen Reilly. They're joining us this morning to tell us how they will be celebrating this mm. day. And then I watched Wonder Woman last night. I'm blown <laughs> away, man. I'm such a fan. So I'm not surprised that this next story is trending. Toddlers, too, were inspired by Wonder Woman, and we bring you those deeps. It's mm. adorable. Do oh, I'm surprised you don't have your, what do you call this? Yeah, your lasso. Oh, no, it's here. Yeah, it's just it? underneath. No, that thing <laughs> on the, the, the greaves or whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this <laughs> arm bracelet thing. And then also we have the cast of Silent Cry as a production, and they'll be dancing us into youth. I'm hoping to see a lot of freedom is oh, coming tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already in that mood. <laughs> Get ready you when it's time for the weather. <laughs> Good morning, team. I love it. It's going to be a true feel-good Friday. Let's uh, kick started with uh, quick, taking a quick look at your temperatures. And it seems like most parts of the country can expect a very chilly start to the morning with Bloemfontein kick-starting the long weekend on zero degrees. Cape Town can also experience some much-needed uh, morning showers for tomorrow. So looking forward to that. Let's run you through those temperatures. Polokwane starting off on 5 degrees minimum with a maximum of 19. Mobela 8.21. Pretoria 6.22. Johannesburg begin op 6 graden. Dat stijgt naar 20 maximum. My Kijk, 9, 25, Klaagstorp, 8, 24, Kimberley, 5, 20, Bloemfontein, Ronde 0 en een maximum van 20, Richards Bay, 14, 22, Pieter Maritzburg, 4 en een maximum van 20, Durban, kicking off on 14 with a maximum of 21, Mtata, 3, 18, East London, 13 and a maximum of 21, Craddock, 3, 17, Port Elizabeth, 12, 21, George, starting off on 10 this morning with a maximum of 20, Sutherland, 2, 13, Cape Town, 12, 12, 19, Worcester with a minimum of 5 this morning, reaching a maximum of 20. Springbok 221 and Uppington starting off on 7 degrees with a maximum of 25. And that's a wrap of your weather for the 6.30 Bulletin. We'll keep you updated with those temperatures throughout the course of your Feel Good Friday. I'm back just after 7 with another look. A more regal wave? You're a queen? Ugh. Uh, where would we be without music and arts? That's why we wanted to inspire you on South Africa's Youth Day with an unforgettable performance. So every year, the Artscape Theatre Centre, they bring together some of the greatest names in music to mentor the next generation of jazz aficionados. And that jazz festival is going to kick off on Friday the 30th of June at 7.30 at the Artscape Theatre. But we thought we'd give you just a little taste with their youth jazz band. Here they are performing Hanapuetz.
slow down, buddy. You're going to start a fire. You're going to start a fire. It's early, guys. That was superb. Marlene LaRue, come and join me here, you beautiful thing. What an unbelievable performance. I'm sure out of all of the things that you do every year at the Artscape, and we are talking to the CEO of the Artscape Theatre, this must be one of your absolute favourites. I think what is the most of this is because it's June 16th, it's also transferring of skills. Yeah. Because they have mentorships also going on. And we have Mark here, that is here. But we also have Frank Paco, we have Camillo Lombard, we have Amanda Tiffin. So it's not big, Youth, big youth names, Day. Yeah. We need to commemorate and we need to say what happened on June 16. Young people that really fought for education in mother tongue language. But I where we that. are now in South Africa is to look at skills transfer so that we can contribute to the economy. But when we look at these young people, these young jazz musicians, we need to say to ourselves that they are our next young people that's going to perform at our International Jazz Festival. But no pressure. No <laughs> pressure, guys. <laughs> and also to travel the world because we need to look at the GDP, what the arts contribute to the economy. And what we want to say, actually, to say to our government is that the arts must be on the agenda and priority. I just want to say at Artscape, we're going to have a big day. June 16, we have health screenings with the Desmond Tutu and Leah Foundation. Foundation. Most of all is mm. about taking responsibility to have healthy sexual relationships, but also to condomize. Because I it's extremely important that with June 16, there must be a cause, there must be a mindset. A reason why we are doing this. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what a way to scream your voices out there, guys. Thank you so, so much, Mark. You're doing a sterling job, Marlene. Absolutely love you and what your team are doing. What a way to inspire you on June the 16th, you stay. It is your responsibility to stand up. Yay! I just want to say, I just want to say, Happy Youth Day to you. Happy Youth Day, South Africa. And if you're looking for more inspiration after the break, uh, we take a look at the story of uh, Sylvester Chauke, who at the age of 36 years old is the name behind some of South Africa's most successful brands, uh, advertising campaigns, celebrities, just to mention a few. Well, you can imagine you're going to be keep being inspired this morning. We're also joined by Nick Hammond and Carmen Reddy from 5 of Them. They're telling us how they are celebrating Youth Day today. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after the break.
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Youth Day and of course today we're not only celebrating but we're also remembering the youth from 1976. And here to inspire us even more, we're going to take a look at what our local stars have been up to. And they are so inspiring. They just keep the inspiring things coming. Now, not only is Cuesta heading to the USA, as we've been so saying for the past few days, so is Casper Nieves. Now, the Tito Mbaweni hitmaker confirmed that he will be performing at a show in New York City this August. Casper sure. and Cuesta have worked together, so I'm wondering if maybe they'll jump on a stage together or maybe they'll be doing more international shows together. All that being said, we are incredibly proud of the two of them and they need to keep that South African flag flying high. What's the show they're doing? No, no, not together. Oh, but but yeah, Quest is going life, and now Casper's going yeah. as well. So. Life is good, hey? Yeah, yes. Oh. Life is good. Life is good. Okay. Now, as if Miss Universe coming to Durban wasn't big enough, Johannesburg also has a huge event coming. Comic and gaming fans are in for a treat this oh. weekend because cosplay is taking place. Now, the event which celebrates every from gaming, storytelling, role playing, we'll see the likes of Pippa Chabalala, Yamaki Yama, Linda Levampi, and our very own Nikki Bush come together for all things gaming. So if you're a cosplay fan, then this weekend is perfect for you to get your geek on and dress up. Hey, That's I love so how cool. everybody just dresses up. It's so much fun. Would you like like your party? Was was that a bit of a cosplay, if you will? That was Costume a bit of a cosplay. Bit, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Who did you go dressed as? I went as Khaleesi's maiden because I had dark hair. And Oh, okay, Kildu, okay, vibe, I see so, where you're going yeah. with that. All right, well, fantastic. Well, hopefully <laughs> everyone enjoys themselves and they share all those lovely images online. Uh, but I think Zoe took the lead there early on saying life isn't good. What a dad joke. Uh, over to the dads. Yeah, man, it's Dude. such a special Friday. Uh, it really is, it really man. Is. I don't know if you've noticed, but two superheroes have snuck into the studio. Just man. saying, I'm just saying. Now, I brought the family today, <laughs> Kian and Dominic. Say hello, everyone. Say hello, yeah. guys. Say hello. Okay. Still he's, he's, he's working on his blue steel <laughs> like you, brother. <man. laughs> uh, listen, let's continue man. with those Friday vibes. And I want to introduce you this morning uh, to Sylvester Chowka. Now, Sylvester is um, the, the, the name behind some of the country's most successful lifestyle brands, celebrities, and advertising campaigns at that as well. And the best part, he's only 36 years old. I was waiting for a swan dive there. Um, I, I think it's his pioneering spirits, his exuberance, his love of what he does, his passion really played through in some of the incredibly successful campaigns he's been behind. But he's also taking a time out to give back, impart some of those skills to today's youth. Take a look at this. In Africa, a new legion of young heroes are using their passion, ideas and influence to build distinctive businesses that aim to transform key industries on the continent. And for Sylvester Chauke, it's creating memorable brand experiences that's catapulted him to the top of his game. And he's showing no signs of slowing. Fusing an old love for performance with his imminent success as an advertiser, Sylvester Chauke founded DNA Brand Architects, one of a few black-owned communication companies in South Africa. I'd uh, worked for the biggest advertising agencies and some of the best in the country. So after a number of years, as you can imagine, there was a lot of ideas along the way. And I saw there was an opportunity to mix almost broadcasting with creative brand strategy, but also with sort of solving brand problems in terms of advertising and meshing them all up into one kind of solution that is not one-sided, but that is integrated. And that's why DNA Brand Architects was formed. And I thought, how do we work and help clients to make work more integrated and more focused? From working with consumer brands to broadcasters, it wasn't long before the need to disrupt the industry took hold. And while his achievement as a businessman has won him numerous awards, Sylvester keeps a healthy learning relationship with failures along his journey. Just after my, my internship, I was quite um, serious about working for um, the biggest and the most awesome advertising agency at the time. And so I went into an interview at one of the big retailers and I think I really sailed through that interview but I think because I was so confident about my skill and what I thought I was going to offer and my qualifications and all of that at the time, I completely missed the boat and actually ended up not getting that job because I was cocky and overconfident and maybe quite arrogant in that process. I think that taught me quite a lot. On his mission to build an empire, Sylvester forms formidable bonds with the people who work for him. And it's understanding how people feel and behave that puts him in prime position to be able to predict future trends when it comes to influencers and consumers. 
we work with millennials and millennials are very much driven by different values and the importance is to ensure that they're able to bring themselves to work as they are and I always say here that we have to be able to walk into the office as who you are. Don't leave yourself in the car. So it's quite important that people feel comfortable so creating an environment that is welcoming, that is free, that allows for them, for young people to be able to express themselves in the best possible way. Because if that's in place, then they're able to really do and give a lot more. And also because millennials, they, they're driven by objectives and they want to achieve a lot of things. So being able to give them opportunities that allow for them to achieve and to feel like they are really making a difference is a very important part of my management style. Well, in terms of what I believe that Africa or what, what people need to do in order to push off our continent forward, first of all, we have to love our continent and we have to be proud of what we have in terms of the, the creativity that we, we possess, but also the opportunities that we have, number one. Number two, I think that for a lot of young people, there is a tendency to want to achieve things very quickly. And I think as a result of that, we are seeing these overnight successes, but also we're seeing overnight failures because there is not enough work that's put into the system. And I think that what's really important for us as Africans is to understand that we have a lot to offer the world and not just consuming what the world gives us, but actually we need to be doing and, and coming up with ideas that are going to be contributing to the world as a whole. At only 36 years old and with 19 years of experience behind him, Sylvester stands tall as a guiding light for other entrepreneurs. And it's hard to believe that when it comes to industry domination, he's only just getting warmed up. Now, we're celebrating Youth Day this morning. Now, giving the youth a platform to voice themselves. Um, so whether you're young or just young at heart, get in the action, get involved and make a difference out there. We're joined this morning by two powerhouse 5FM DJs, Nick Hammond and Carmen Reddy, who are well-versed with issues that surround our youth today. And we'd love to hear what they have to say about that. So firstly, to both of you, thank you very much for joining us so early in the morning. We do appreciate it. Good morning. Pleasure thank is yours. Thank you. When you, <laughs> the pleasure is mine indeed. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. It's Hammond time. Uh, listen, given that, that you guys do, do serve a pretty young audience, you are definitely well versed with the challenges that are facing young people in South Africa uh, these days. What, what, what do you think those are, the most prevalent of them? Well, I think unemployment is a massive issue in the country at the moment. And we saw with Fees Must Fall how expensive it is to actually go to tertiary and to study. Yeah. And how, how kids are finding it so difficult. So that's a massive um, that's something massive that the youth have to deal with and obviously we've got to help them with it. Yeah, and then, then taking a look at the importance of a day like today, how would you go about celebrating it in a very unique way but also taking into cognizance the importance of why this day actually exists? I think, you know, over the last three years that I've been at 5 Fem, I've watched how the national discourse has evolved and has continually changed and I think that it's a process that happens naturally, organically. I think we need to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. I think we need to understand that there are a lot of things in this country that we still don't know how we're going to face and there are a lot of things that we still don't know how we're going to tackle and challenge but I just believe and I do think that we are at quite a good space right now within Young South Africa where finally we're allowed to have open and honest conversations and I think the more that we push those the better we're going to figure out the larger, bigger questions. Yeah, so maybe that's a, way, that's a way of celebrating it today. While you're having that bri with your friends, have those conversations, open up the dialogue and uh, get talking. And uh, between 6 o'clock uh, this morning and 6 o'clock this evening, something's happening with the Five Squad event. Tell me more about that. What's going to be happening? So we're letting a whole bunch of youth take over the station. They're all going to come in from 6 this morning on the Roger Good Show. Um, Sureshi is taking over. She's going to be um, doing the show with a bunch of young kids. And we're going to be doing it as well, live from Cape Town and then um, for the rest of the day until 6 o'clock. So we're literally taking, letting the youth take over. When you say take over, to what extent do they have control of what, over what's happening so, on the air? Well, luckily, we've still got our presenters around to press all the buttons. <laughs> but um, no, look, they get, to, they get to speak about what they want to speak about. They get to be a part of the show and they get to learn what radio is all about. Hopefully, we can really inspire them. I mean, at our age, there were these kinds of things, but I don't think either of us have the guts to go ahead and do it. I would we never have. We work, with, we work with Mad Money Mike, though, so we've got a child on the show every day. <laughs> so this is nothing new for of us. Course. But I, I think, you know, as Carmen says, I would never have. If I was 16 to yeah, 20, you, I would... No, dude. And, and, and then finally, I, I want to know, if, if you were to give a, a message to your younger self, what would that have been many, many moons ago, knowing what you know right now? 
Don't stress about anything. Everything is just going to be amazing and fine. I think when you're young, there's so much of pressure on you, and it's so. And there we go. That's oh yes. <laughs> we thought you might girl. bring up the youthful side. There, look at okay. that girl. Okay. Yeah, maybe don't don't get into theatre anyway. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, you know there there was so much of pressure as a, as a child, and there's no need to be. We live in such a beautiful country. Um, it's so diverse. It's just amazing. Just. Have fun. Nick, what about you? Uh, what would you say to a young Nick? I would have suggested deleting Mixit. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. And also... Oh, oh my man. word. What was going also, on here? Also, not to have done that. Um, <laughs> we, we had Civvy's Day at school, so we were allowed to wear our civilian tags. That was Civvy's Day. The school uniform, if you'd attained a certain amount of merit throughout the, the school semester. And so I decided to come dressed as, like that. As? As what? Who was that? Yeah. As a boss. <laughs> as a boss. How See about you. that? Guys, it's always fun having you on the show. Thank oh, you so, thank so much. You Enjoy Youth Day. And uh, please, yes, do inspire those young people that you'll be working with today. We really look forward to hearing them on the airwaves. And yes, the pleasure was all mine, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> so listen, thank just you. because school may be out today, doesn't mean that you can't really learn anything uh, or a thing or two as we remember the power of a younger generation today. We celebrate the, the brave students who defended their right for equal education and we also remember and commemorate those who lost their lives in the struggle to make South Africa a better place for all future generations to come. We'll, say, or, well, we'll take a break right now we'll be right back after this. At Samsung, we develop technology so you can live life. Samsung, a way of life.
Welcome back to tuning into your feel good breakfast show. This is on SKPC3. Shenanigans going on on set this morning. It's absolutely amazing. Um, listen, let's quickly find out what has been trending. It's those uh, interesting, random, and weird stories people have been talking about. Um, Zoe, you got the story yeah, there now. Before yeah, Zoe right. gets too traumatized. It's all right, don't worry. Zoe, I got, I got the first story. I got you covered. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, oh, Batman. Junior Batman just went over there. Nice one, kid. Listen, I can uh, exclusively tell you right now that the, 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 the Facebook gods have now answered us all and they've provided us with a new way to comment on all of our friends' pictures and their relationship statuses. You can now comment via GIF and uh, show all kinds of reactions because now uh, on the comment section of your Facebook page, page, you can now click the GIF button and insert the GIF. Oh, wow. That really okay. some sense of humor it, to moments. It really awesome. does. Like, look at that. You could do this, like this guy. I'm not sure what that reaction is. Oh, like, 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 like. Do we have another GIF that you can get on Facebook? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like, like that's what she was Are you ready? Okay, I'm coming. Um, well, you know what? Um, <laughs> Those gifts were made for me. No, I think no, that's, I, no, that's wrong. <laughs> um, how's this? I know Father's Day is around the corner, but you have to give it to the super mom. <sighs> she walked into the store and she wasn't happy with the way the clothes were rearranged. So in the girls' oh. section, they only had pinks and florals, and she decided to go over to the boys' section grab some of the NASA t-shirts and place them in the girls section. Oh, John oh, yes. Weltman would be so proud. Say, girls can wear that too. Ma, ma, man. Well done, well done. <laughs> no, I absolutely love that. We're all about empowering young women on the show and empowering um, all young people with an empowering movie. So we, we've been talking so much about Wonder Woman. It released um, here in South Africa recently and it has gotten so many like, 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 like on, <laughs> on Facebook. But um, we got this really cool story of a kindergarten teacher in the US who reported on this. She started Ooh. to see some interesting reactions coming from her students in the class um, and she stated a couple of them on a list that she posted online um, she said um, first of all there was a little boy who was previously obsessed with Iron Man no not a bad thing but he wants a one woman lunchbox now <laughs> then there were a group of girls playing at lunchtime and all of them wanted to be Wonder Woman but then they unanimously agreed to all just be Amazons and not fight against each other but rather work together to fight to evil That's I absolutely awesome. love that awesome, uh, but she finished with this really powerful paragraph so consider this your friendly reminder that if this movie completely changed the way these boys and girls thought about themselves and the world in a week. Imagine what the next generation will achieve if we give them more movies like Wonder Woman and Gal Gadot. And Wonder Woman herself also weighed in to give it to like, 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 like as well. It. Awesome. Very yeah, cool, yeah, man. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much, guys. There Beautiful we go. That's stuff, a roundup man. of your watch training stories. If you come across something, something interesting, let us know on our social media pages. Right now, that is time for the news headlines. Here's Leanne. In your national news this morning, South Africans are commemorating the 41st Youth Day today, which honors the youths massacred by the apartheid police in Soweto on protesting pupils on June the 16th, 1976. While many parts of the country celebrate the iconic day in South Africa's history, today's main commemorations take place in Fentersdorp, where President Jacob Zuma will deliver the annual Youth Day address. Meanwhile, statistics show that youth unemployment continues to climb, reaching a record 38.6 percent, up by 1.6% since last year. Deputy Basic Education Minister Enver Surti says the socio-economic environment of learners will form part of the discussions during life orientation lessons in schools. This comes after Surti launched the department's new comprehensive sexuality education policy at the 8th National AIDS Conference in Durban earlier this week. The aim of the new policy is to equip teachers with new ways to impart knowledge on STIs, HIV and AIDS and TB to young people. Now moving further abroad, Prime Minister Theresa May has ordered a full public inquiry into fires that, or rather the fire that engulfed a West London block of flats, killing at least 17 people. The figure is expected to rise as fire chiefs do not expect to find any more survivors in the burnt out Grenfell Tower in North Kensington. Mrs May, who made a brief private visit to the scene, said people deserve answers as to why the fire spread so rapidly and that the inquiry will give it to them. And then finally, seven people have died and more than 60 others, including children, were injured in an explosion at a nursery in China. The explosion happened outside the Chuangjin kindergarten late yesterday afternoon, just as relatives were collecting their children at the end of the school day. Two victims died at the scene of the explosion and five while receiving treatment. Nine others are described as being seriously injured. Well, that was your 7 o'clock news update. Let's get our very first look at what's happening in the world of sport. Here's Graham.
Rugby first on our international sports watch and of course South Africa and France take their ongoing battle to Durban this weekend for the second game of their three match test series. The Springboks heading into the Durban clash with a one lead after securing a very convincing 37-14 victory in Pretoria last weekend. So tomorrow's match gets underway at the Kings Park Stadium at five minutes past five. One major change, Lionel Mapu coming in for the injured Jesse Creel. Then on to cricket, India booked their place in the final of the Champions Trophy yesterday in emphatic style thanks to a dominant nine-wicket semi-final victory over Bangladesh. Batting second, India easily chasing down the 265 required for victory to progress to their fourth Champions Trophy final. After three weeks of cricket, we're down to those last two in that Champions Trophy as Pakistan make it into the final for the first time to take on India in that final on Sunday. The match getting one underway at the famous Oval from 11.30 in the morning. Then in football, all eyes in the footballing world will be on Russia this weekend as the 2017 Confederation Federations Cup gets underway. Germany head into the tournament as firm favourites, having lifted the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. However, they'll face a stern test against the Euro 2016 winners Portugal and, of course, Ronaldo and the reigning Copa America champions Chile. So the first uh, Confed match kicks off tomorrow. That's as Russia hosts New Zealand, while on Sunday, Portugal tackle Mexico and Cameroon face off against Chile. Then in athletics, Casta Semenya added yet another first place finish to her tally as she stormed to victory in the women's 800 metres last night at the Oslo leg of the Diamond League series and what a series it's been. Semenya crossed the line first in a time of 1.57.59. That's 1.4 seconds ahead of Burundi's Francine Nion Saba. Um, there was also success on the night for Reinhard van Rensburg who finished first in the national 800 meter event. And that's where we leave our sport for now. We'll delve a little deeper into our weekend highlights later in the show. You get into your weather, this is a couple of minutes past seven o'clock and it seems that most parts of the country can expect a rather chilly start this morning. Bloemfontein kicking off the uh, long weekend with a zero degrees minimum and Cape Town can also experience um, some much needed morning showers for tomorrow. Definitely looking forward to that. But let's run you through your temperatures quickly. Polokwane begin op 5 graden, dit stijg na 19. Mombela 8, 21. Pretoria 6, 22. Johannesburg 6, 20. Mai Keng begin op 9, dit stijg na 25. Klerkstorp 8, 24. Kimberley 5, in een maximum van 20. Bloemfontein daar rond een 0 graden van ochtend lekker koud, maar een warmer 20 later. Richards Bay 14, 22. Pieter Maritzburg 4 in een maximum van 20. Durban starting off on 14 with a maximum of 21. Mtata 3, 18. East London 13, 21. Craddock 3, 17. Port Elizabeth 12 in a maximum of 21. George on uh, 10 degrees minimum and a maximum of 20. Sutherland 2, 13. Cape Town 12, 19. Worcester on 5 degrees minimum and a maximum of 20, Springbok 221 and Uppington on 7 with a maximum of 25. And that's a wrap of your weather for the 7 o'clock bullets and I'll have one last update for you right after 8. Book on Travel Start. We will turn your guilt trips into good trips. Time for us to catch up with social media this morning. Of course, we've got Ewan's amazing family in studio. Dominic and Kian there joining him on that picture with Zoe. And then our, our caption this morning was, as South Africans, what is the best thing about our country's youth? Let's see what you had to say. Teresa says, morning express, so family, happy youth day. Happiness is what I ask for them and that they don't abuse their opportunities. Vincent says, uh, they can do anything. They can open businesses and show life skills, play soccer, dance, hashtag youth day. Uh, Bernard Bernard says, freedom of choice and many hidden opportunities for us to work hard and unveil them. Above all, freedom of being who we are. Londiwe says, the best thing about our country's youth is that we are given the best and greatest chance. So don't limit ourselves in every opportunity we are given. And um, yeah, education, sport, many, many more. Happy, happy Youth Day, everyone. That's what we are. It's a resounding happy Youth Day to everybody. But keep that, uh, those comments coming. We want to know, what do you love most about our country's youth? Well, I love the country's youth that are living with passion, like these two young men next to me, Dumi Nkokstad and also Betusi Lemtlinga, who are having a very special performance tonight at the Arts Capital. We'll tell you about that a bit later on. Right now, they're about to uplift our souls on this youth day. In fact, invigorate us with their spirit, performing a track off of Dumi's uh, latest album that's been, that's been released, and the song is called Induli. There we go.
Brother Jens, taking us to church, taking us to church. Beautiful way to start this morning, uplifting to the spirit. So I'm assuming this is what people can expect when they come through to your show tonight, because it's also a very, very special show. You're filming today. Yes, yes we're shooting live DVD. <laughs> yeah, first ever live DVDs. Um, and it's uh, three separate artists. You just need one ticket. Um, so it's three artists shooting separate DVDs. Oh wow! Uh, and you need one one ticket. And, and you can be at the filming of all three artists. And yes. these tickets, I'm assuming, I hope are still available at the Artscape. Uh, computer, and we'll also be launching our new album. Just got a new album. Uh -huh. I'm also launching my new album today. Yeah. Uh, it's available right now on iTunes, titled Ekamenil uh, Jesu. His album is uh, titled Intando Yako. So uh, we're launching and shooting at the same time at Amen. Artscape tonight Amen. at 6 p.m. We're stuck. Thank you very much, Jens. Thank you yes, so much for uplifting our spirits. Hope Cheers. you enjoyed it at home. Let us know what you thought about those or that performance on uh, our Feel Good Breakfast Show's Facebook page. We'll be right back after this break. Struggle with commitment? Before trying anywhere else, book on Travel Start. We will turn your guilt trips into good trips. Book flights from 499 Rand only on travelstart.co.za.
It's a Friday morning. We welcome you back live to your feel good breakfast show, baby. We're live, large, and in charge. And right now, we're talking about the art of being cool because, listen, being cool is truly an art form that not many people have truly mastered. But teenagers seem to just inherently know what is trendy, especially when it comes to social media. So, Titi, our tech head and comedian, is here to give us the definitive rules on how to be cool on social media according to teenagers because he is of the age. <laughs> My man, happy youth day to you. Uh, happy youth day. Happy yeah, youth day to yeah. you. So let's start first. What is the first rule? The first do not do this yeah. on social media. I'm just going to say now, if you're older than me, then you're probably going to prepare yourself for some blushing because you've probably done most of this. But the first... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. The first do not is that you must never ever Instagram your Snapchat story. So you use the filters from Inst from from Snapchat, and then you put the you put those on on, on Instagram, <laughs> and because because what's this Instagram? I mean Snapchat rather has a, a a larger variety of filters. Yeah. So people use those filters, and then they transfer them onto Instagram, and everyone's like, oh, where did you get these? But oh, okay, not, so that is not a cool it's thing not really to do. Cool, according to teenagers, Andy. <laughs> okay, all right, no, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, luckily, I've never done that before. I keep my okay. Instagram filters where they are, my Snapchat filters where they. Are. Okay, and uh, what about what about the, the kind of behaviors that you should be employing yeah. in order to keep trendy and cool on yeah. social media according to teenagers? This one I think you're a bit guilty of. What do you uh, mean? You're oh. probably guilty of this one. You shouldn't sing on social media. So here, yeah, but this guy, <laughs> why are you banning me? What's what's wrong with singing? So according to so teenagers, think that like Graham? you know, like you know, the, yeah, that looks like Graham. Right? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Graham. He was singing. I wanna swing! <laughs> so like teenagers think like people posting pictures of themselves obnox obnoxiously singing in the cars and stuff like that. That they don't think is really cool. <laughs> so, okay, alright, alright. So whether you're trying to advance a career or not, do not sing obnoxiously on social media. Alright, and then okay, finally, what's the biggest, biggest do not? Okay, this one's cool. Uh, never ever use uh, hashtags Seriously, you should always use a hashtag ironically, right? Oh, okay. You know those people that, that use hashtags like, like hashtag I'm sad, oh, hashtag <laughs> go bad, hashtag like <laughs> oh, life, <laughs> hashtag like don't ever do that. So according to teenagers, you should only use them ironically. Ironically. Yeah. Okay, well there you have it. The do nots of social media if you want to render yourself cool out there on the interwebs. Thanks, CT. We really do appreciate it. Let us know if you have any more do's and do nots to ensure that you're cool on social media. And of course, when you do so, please use the very ironic hashtag Expresso Show. <laughs> Absolutely. That hashtag you use wherever and whenever, okay? But listen, it is uh, fast becoming to that time of the year where many high school learners are counting down the days to the mid year school holidays. But one young woman will most definitely not use that time to sit around and relax on the couch. I'm very impressed. Not only is she going to be climbing a mountain, but not just any mountain. I'm talking about Kilimanjaro, and that's all in aid of over 6,000 young girls. So let's check out her story. My dream to climb Mount Kilimanjaro started as exactly that, a dream. I woke up one morning and that was that. I was going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Very few teenage girls decide to take on a physically and emotionally demanding challenge, but Sahira Biznath is climbing Africa's tallest peak as a milestone birthday celebration. So I was given the option of having anything I wanted for my 16th birthday. I'm sure my parents regret this now, but I always wanted to make a difference and I really needed to challenge myself personally. As a result, I decided to take on Mount Kilimanjaro to try and raise funds and raise awareness around the issues surrounding menstrual health. Sahira will be doing the hashtag Sweet 16 Summit with her dad and her family's been fully supportive throughout her training. I'm extremely proud of her coming to us and saying, I want a present that I can share. You know, we try our best to instill values in them. And I just didn't expect something this big but we're gonna be with her every step of the way. I think for me, I was never really the fittest person. But when she said that she wanted to climb the mountain, I thought she was joking and I didn't think she would actually do it. From struggling to now, I actually really enjoy it. A day without it, I feel so incomplete. I just wanna to say to the two of you, good luck, especially to Dad. As a dad, I'm extremely proud of her wanting to do something for so many other people that I need. She has my full support in every way. 
The aim of the climb is to raise awareness around menstrual health and to raise 1.6 million rand to buy sanitary wear packs created by Dignity Dreams. I think uh, we often underestimate the importance of menstrual health and it is an issue that is too often considered taboo. It needs to be spoken about more freely between parents, their children, um, peers. People need to find this topic not so taboo. So how lucky are we to have a 16-year-old who sacrifices her birthday for Dignity Dreams and for girls all over the country to get them sanitary wear? The pack includes six washable pads. They also include panties, a Ziploc bag and washing instructions. And what makes them so unique is that they are SABS absorbency approved. They are also washable for up to four years. So if you contribute money towards this cause, one girl will have sanitary wear every month for four years. My preparation for this climb covers a wide variety of things. Apart from our daily intensive workouts, we hike on weekends to get the best out of our training and everything. We've also adapted our lifestyle in terms of diet. This entire campaign has gained so much support and has had such a positive response from the community. Going forward into the near future, I hope that I can continue to lend my voice and focus my energy in every little way where I can make a difference. An incredible story, but now from Earth's great expanses and final frontiers to the great expanse beyond, it's time to enter the final frontier. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Yes, it is time to venture into the final frontier. And today we're putting size and scale into perspective, which is very difficult when we approach the vast expanse that is our solar system and beyond. And where would we be without our guide to the galaxy, our very special guest, John Weltman from the Foundation for Space Development. Loving our discussion topic this morning. John, welcome back. Thanks for joining us Thank on, you. on Youth Day. Happy Youth Day to you. I know and to you. Uh, you spend a huge amount of time pouring back into the beautiful youth of our country. So I'm going to pose a question to you. I'm still young. No, uh, we I'm are both. Youth. We are, I don't know, I think the term is juvenile. Okay, I think the term is juvenile. Oh, brother. Um, so with commercial space travel now very much on, on the horizon, if I had to book myself an Uber to get back from Mars home after a big night, um, what address would I actually use? Yeah, so you're at the, <laughs> the restaurant at the end of the universe type yeah. of thing, right? And you, you want to get back here. It, this is, this is a, a question I like to do often with the kids and it, it really gives us an idea of scale and, and the different parts of, of physics that we need to work with. So in very simple terms, if you look at your street address, you've got your house and then you've got the street and then you've got the suburb and, and then you've got the country and you know, the city, the country and it expands. And end, so yeah. if we look at a, a cosmological level, of course we are around a star and our star is called the sun, but it's actually just one of many stars. <laughs> and we happen to be the third rock from that sun which is planet Earth, of course. And we're in a system, a star system, called the solar system. Okay, that's actually the name of our star system. And this is where it gets interesting. So we've explored all of this, you know, we've been to the edge of our solar system, and that's what we've physically been able to explore. We've got the photos probes, to prove it, yeah. <laughs> with probes and things like that. But when you start to zoom out, we are actually in a very small section of the Milky Way. Um, right on one of the arms, the Milky Way is a spiral galaxy, and we're on one of the arms called the Orion arm, or the Orion spiral. And that is our address, so we're in the Orion spiral of the Milky Way galaxy. Now the Milky Way galaxy is just one in a cluster of galaxies, which we call the local cluster, and the cluster has up to about 50 galaxies in them. And then we have something called a supercluster. And originally we were part of the Virgo supercluster, but now we've discovered a bigger way of measuring superclusters. So we're actually in the Linnea Kia, which is a Hawaiian word for immense universe supercluster, <laughs> which is traveling around something called the Great Attractor, which is the, the center around which all these massive superclusters are evolving. Now to bring that back into scale, supercluster cluster down to the Milky Way. The Milky Way has up to 500 billion stars. <laughs> and that's just one galaxy across the whole Linnea Kia supercluster. 
So that would be our address. So keep scanning out, keep scanning out. Okay, keep scanning yeah, out. Yeah, so here keep we go, out. simple plan. You, you better have some cash on you then if you're going to hop onto an Uber. So let's take one step and some back time. further. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, well, space travel's heading in that direction. Uh, so now we, we take a step back even further. We are dealing with an infinite universe. How, how do we put the, the, the galaxies, these super clusters, into perspective yeah. there? Well, well they're not, we're not infinite. You know, the universe we know is expanding. And one of the funny things is that it's expanding at an accelerating rate which is something we're trying to explain, and that's where dark energy and, and dark matter come in. Um, and the visible universe is finite because we can only see as far back as the Big Bang. As far so as light can see will allow us. Exactly, yeah. 14 and a half billion years. So it has a radius of, of around, or a diameter of around 30 billion light years across as our universe. But it, it all revolves around matter, it all revolves around mass, and ironically, the majority of the mass is invisible to us. It's dark mass. It's dark matter. Oh, man. Just, so just use your street address. If you need to use an address, just still go with your street address. I love this. What this does, what says to me is that there is still so much to learn. So for all of those young minds out there, start studying, start learning. It's a brave new future. You can be the ones to take us across that final frontier. John Weltman, love your work, sir. Love your work. We're going to split the fare. We'll split the fare in our Uber ride. <laughs> Mind blown. Well, still to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, we give you a roundup of all of our celebrity dads. And uh, pretty, pretty exciting to see what they're getting up to. All right, looking forward to that. And also looking forward to this tiny superstar next to us. Her name is Talita Leiters. She's the winner of the Seth Oosterfeer's Talent Surge competition. And she's going to blow you away yes. singing one of my favorite songs. I can't wait. Woo! I can't Woo! wait. Woo! 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 Looking pretty slender there, athlete. <laughs> no, no, guys, that is slender. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> well, we burnt our calories on the swim. How do you do it, Zoe? Introducing Tropica <laughs> Slender in a tall, slim bottle with no added sugar, less calories, and available in four twist flavors. back to your feel-good breakfast show. It is Friday, it's a public holiday, but that is not just the main reason. We are celebrating <laughs> Youth Day here in South Africa. And as we know, the world is constantly changing. Life seems to be getting faster and faster. So let's see what else happened on the 16th of June. Absolutely. Well, a happy Youth Day, everyone. Now, while we are celebrating in South Africa, did you know that today is also known as Day of the African Child? Now, this commemoration was adopted on the 
14th of June 1991 to honor those who had laid down their lives during the Soweto uprisings in 1976. Absolutely incredible. And talking about freedom in South Africa, on this day in 1999, Thabo Mbeki was elected as the second president of South Africa after we held our second free and fair democratic election. Wow. And then last but not least, someone we unfortunately lost in his youth, Tupac, who was born on this day in 1971. Now, he's still regarded as one of the pioneers of rap and hip hop. And may he rest in peace. That's right. That's definitely right. Thank you so much for that. Well, that was just our little bite-sized dose of what happened in history on this day. Be sure to go out and make today as historic as it is. Well, we're about to give you a bite-sized dose of awesomeness right about now. I've been looking forward to this moment all morning long. Her name is Talita Leiter. She's 12 years old. Can you believe it? And uh, she's the current reigning champion, if I can call it that, of the St. Westerfierce Talent Search Competition. In fact, she's been invited back this year to share the stage with some of the biggest names. And right now, she's going to show you why she deserves that place so much. On this youth day, performing a Whitney Houston classic, I Have Nothing. inside I can't run from myself there's a no Can I touch your hand? Because you're going to be so famous one day, like, yes, I held her hand. That was absolutely amazing. Listen, congratulations on your success. Are you looking forward to performing at the festival again? Yes, I, yeah. yeah, I look forward to it. That is absolutely amazing. Listen, so what are you going to be doing with your music career? What do you want to be when, you, when, when you're older? Oh, uh, I want to be a lecturer and a teacher, but I also want to go on with my music 
Yeah. That is awesome. A lecturer and a teacher who teaches in music and then sings your math sums to you. Imagine all the knowledge that could go inside your head. That's amazing. Listen, you are super, super talented and Thank we you love that much. performance. Everyone is just tearing up at the back there. And what a song to take on as well at this tender age of 12. Let us know what you thought about that performance on our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page. Hi, 10. <laughs> Mind blown. What a way to kickstart Youth Day today. Now, going to the movies, we know it is a fun and uh, exciting experience, but how much would you like to watch a movie in one of the most exciting cities in the world with the stars of that film? Well, now you can, thanks to the latest giveaway from Expresso New Metro's Movie Club. Win a jet-setting movie experience with New Metro and Expresso. One lucky person and their partner will enjoy flights to New York and accommodation in Manhattan to attend a fan screening of the action-packed new film War for the Planet of the Apes, attended by three of the main cast members. To enter, SMS the keyword New York and your name to 40675 by the 22nd of June. Winners must have a valid South African passport and all the T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. I'm available to go with a winner, I'm just saying. I can be a plus one. <laughs> well, still to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, we're giving you a roundup of all of our coolest celebrity dads. Mm -hmm. And a way to spoil dad this Father's Day, we have Claire Allen here to show us exactly how to make a cranberry and buttermilk <sighs> rusk. We'll That's see you after delicious. break. Mm. Can I have one? Kickstart your wellness journey with Expresso as Biogen is giving away an exciting wellness hamper every week filled with products that will help you to live a holistically healthy life. To win, SMS the word Biogen to 33728. Plus, every time you enter, you'll receive a free entry into the grand prize draw, where one viewer will stand a chance to win Discam shopping vouchers for a year with 12,000 Rand. Be your best with Biogen. It is Youth Day. We are celebrating Youth Day here in South Africa and on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And thank you for choosing to start Youth Day with us right now. As we listen, uh, also very importantly, Father's Day is coming up. Yes. Uh, pretty soon. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, that's why we've got Let's something very that. special. As we head into Father's Day celebrations this weekend, we have a roundup of some of the hottest entertainers in the world who also have killer dad skills. So, shall we get into okay, it? Okay. Okay. The very first one is David Beckham, who is the father of four with mm. Victoria Beckham. Now, between soccer with the boys and shopping with Harlow, which is the youngest, Daddy Beckham serves up some serious dad goals whenever he steps out. Um, I don't know. Like, and Look he is that. just he's just getting better with age. Look how cute Harlow is, hey? Love, yeah, love, beautiful. love. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Harper. Like, yes, Harper. 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 Sorry, Harper. No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, with David Beckham, when, when I heard we're talking about celeb dads, I was like, David Beckham better be on that list. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, Zoe already has a dream list. Today. That's crazy. Okay, so talking about stepping out, we also see John Legend and wife Chrissy Teigen with the cutest baby girl in the world, Luna. 
Jonah uh, right by their side. Now, D Jonah is such a doting dad. His Instagram is just awash with Luna's pictures. And also, he wrote a song dedicated to her as well. Oh. So look at this face, you I guys. I think her mom featured on that song's music yeah. video. Oh, yes. my word. She Which song was, was dedicated to, to, to Luna? Uh, it's slipping my mind now. But yeah. it's, is, is it not Love Me Now? Yes, love me now. yes, yes, it's Love oh, Me Now. She's on the music video with her mom. Love Me Now. That's there we go. So rounding up our international serving of dads is none other than Will Smith himself, father and mentor to his kids, Trey, Jaden, and Willow Smith. I got to say, Will is like the OG of Dadville, all right? He's like the OG <laughs> of Bel Air. So his he's kids are so, so cool. successful. I know, and I'm so happy right. that he got Jaden to cut off those dreads, hey? <laughs> I, I think what <laughs> really puts Will up there as ult ultimate celebrity dad in terms of our international stars. It's like, he can drop bars. <laughs> like, he true. can teach you life lessons. Yeah. Be like, yo, this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, that, that's cool. Here, man. here. That's cool. Um, okay, so in terms of our local dads, Tapela Mokwena uh, visited us yeah, earlier this week and shared man. just how Aww. much he adores his little one, Lareko. In fact, Lareko uh, gives up uh, some serious mini me vibes when it comes to the two of them. <laughs> look look how that. cool dad and baby stare. look together. And then, of course, <laughs> our very own Ewan Stradle. Yeah! Got yes, the boys um, and today. he's got his little boys here, Dominic and Kian. He loves them to bits, yeah. but uh, I think, you know, he definitely is he's just the ultimate dad does he does it all he definitely he taught them the most important lesson in the world uh, and we can see it very evidently if they ever run around you'll see that they know who the best superhero in the world is Aww, batman thank you listen to you and then of course <laughs> last but not least we have our newest dad graham who welcomed Aww. little jack into the world earlier this year uh, you might not know this but g always share stories of Jack with us and can't wait to whip up his phone and bring some pictures oh, of him. Boy. He's like the best doting dad. But guys, yeah. I've got some that. breaking news. <laughs> this is just in. Beyonce Knowles is rumored to have gone into labor. Ooh. So we're all about to be aunts and uncles, everybody! Yes! Oh we're going to be aunts. Oh my goodness. I'm but not bringing presents, no. <laughs> I'm broke. Let's see what happens. We'll keep you up to date with the breaking news. All right, here we go, man. I must be honest, I couldn't be more proud of my two boys. They are absolutely amazing. I have Kian joining us in the kitchen this morning, which is absolutely amazing, alongside the lovely Claire Allen as well. And we're making some of our favorites, right? Do we like rusks, Kian? Do you, Do you like, like rusks? rusks? Have you ever made rusks before? No. No. Hey, okay. And I'm these are special you. rusks, eh? These are special they, rusks. Yeah, cranberry. There's oats in there as well, so it's a perfect kind of breakfast rusk. Okay, All so right. we're going to get started. So I've got my flour. All right. I've got some baking powder. And I've got my demerara sugar. This sugar is really nice because it's got a nice toffee flavor. It's going to be beautiful with our oats. All right. So I'm going to give this a bit of a mix. And then I need you to help me with the dirty business. So you've got all this batter. And I need you to mix it all together with so, your fingers. So now you're going to mix now it Now you get end. to get dirty. You don't, Mom can't get cross. You want to help? Go. <laughs> there we go. Rub it all Here with the go. flour nicely. So you're going to break that up into almost like little breadcrumb pieces. And your butter and the flour is going to... Get dissolved. You're doing such a good job. Nice, Kian. We well go. done, man. Hey, this is going to be the best rusks in the whole world. So All I've right. got some buttermilk and an egg that I'm going to mix together. You can have lots of butter, so they can be lots. There we go. We're going to have lots of rusks. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> okay. Look there at that. Go. You're doing such a good job. Wow, Kian. Well done. See, mini, mini chef in the making. There here, we go. Eh? I know. Competition. Master Chef Junior. That's here we it. Go. Okay, so we've got our buttermilk and our, our eggs. I'm going to mix that together. And then you can use the wooden spoon. You can use the wooden spoon. You now mix with a spoon. Can you do it? There we go. There we go. I must be honest, eh? whenever we're at home and we're doing recipes and stuff, mm. Kian is always in there and he is helping me out so much, especially when I make pancakes. Eh? <gasps> do you like making yeah. pancakes? What are you going to do? You can make that for Dad on Sunday. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You're going to spoil Dad, aren't you? Um, this is a very, very nice recipe, Claire. Oh, I love the fact, you know, Rusk is one of those favorites. I mean, we all love it. If you want to get your hands on the recipe, the keyword is jungle. SMS jungle to 33728. And uh, we'll uh, send you everything you need to know to make this delicious cranberry and oat Rusks. It's very, very easy. So now we've got that all incorporated. I'm going to add my <laughs> instant. <laughs> How does it taste? <laughs> Loves this batter. Um, so we're going to mix that together, and then I'm going to add my cranberries. All right, let me give you a help here. Yeah. All right, Ken, you can just continue licking your fingers off there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add some orange zest. So the instant oats, orange zest, cranberries, and that's going to do such a nice job. So once that batter is all mixed up, I think we can add a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more oats. 
All right. We're going to add some nice fiber to the oat, which is great. But what we're going to do is it's quite a thick mixture. We're going to press it into the tin. All right. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. You done? You want to wash your hands? There we go. You can put that That's it. into the, the tin. Here we go. Almost done. That's it. And I mean, it's nice. Uh, the, the, the nice thing about incorporating jungle, of course, I mean, it's 100% whole grain oats as well. It's low GI, yes. uh, sustained energy throughout the course of the day as well. Beta gluten. So it's all the healthy stuff that you need from a good breakfast as well. Yeah. So that just goes into the oven once you've popped it in the tin. You put that in the tin. Get the last bit. All right. And then we're going to press that down. You're going to bake it in the oven for an hour at 180 degrees. Okay. And then it's quite a process. You've got to be patient as Russ. What you're going to do is once you've baked them until they're nice and clean, you put in a skewer, you're going to okay. slice them, turn the oven down to 90 degrees. And then dry them out. And then you're going to dry them out for about three hours because oh. you want that beautiful crunch. Well, while you finish off that, the keyword is jungle. Esme is up to 33728. Here are those steps one more time in case you missed anything. Mix self-raising flour, baking powder, salt and sugar. Add butter and rub until breadcrumb consistency. Whisk together eggs and buttermilk. Combine dry and wet ingredients and mix. Add cranberries, jungle oats instant, orange zest and mix. Pour batter into a lined baking tin and bake until golden brown. Slice into rusks and dry in the oven for three hours. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword JUNGLE to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it. That uh, keyword once again is jungle. SMS that to 33728. My boy just can't wait to tuck in. You, go, you want one? Want yeah? All that hard work? A little bit later. A little bit later. A little bit later. Okay. But listen, we have a, a great competition as well for you. Now, Jungle is running a photo competition around the country where you can stand the chance to win an amazing weekend away. Simply find the Jungle uh, photo booth strategically placed in a beautiful location around the country. Then you take a photo and tag a Jungle Oats to stand a chance to win. Now, if you're in Miller's Drift, head over to the Cradle of Humankind and in KZN Midlands, go to the Piggly Wiggly today and get photographing right away. The booth will be moving around the country so keep your eyes peeled t's and c's do apply and can be found on jungleoats.co.za easy as that but we always leave you of course with a good inspirational quote as well and i love this one this morning it says good better best never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best and that was said by saint jerome absolutely love it there we go kian you go and enjoy your rust Claire, thank you very much for making us rusks. I mean, a lot of people are very, kind of, I think, almost like scared to make rusks, but it's but it it's takes a bit pretty of time, easy. Yeah. But it's a really easy recipe. It'll be online, so follow it. It's great with the addition of jungle oats and the cranberry, and that zest is going to make every bite pop perfect mm. with your cup of coffee. And they look amazing. Cranberry and buttermilk rusk infused with oats sounds amazing. Jungle is the keyword. Essence that to three three seven two eight. Jungle, the natural energy champion. Well, you and I'll tell you what, here's another inspirational quote for you. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And this is exactly what Nedbank is urging South Africans to do with their money. And here to discuss the very exciting launch of their See Money Differently campaign is Vanessa Singh and Desmond Osman from Nedbank. A very good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Youth Day to oh, both of you. Thank happy you. Youth day to you. Happy Youth Day to you too. Excellent. Vanessa, I, I mean... Nedbank launched um, this new catchphrase. Can I, can I call it a catchphrase? See money differently, which is something that, that kind of sits in the back of your mind. And sometimes you might ask yourself, what exactly do you mean by that? What is the messaging there? You know, when we looked at, um, we had make things happen for many years, mm -hmm. and it was um, quite a powerful line. But what we felt was we needed, we had a responsibility to do a bit more and get um, South Africans to look at how they manage their money differently. Mm -hmm. And a universal truth is around money well managed can make a real difference to one's life. Yeah. And you need to take it seriously. It's a universal truth. Yeah. So if you manage your money well, it can make a real difference. And that, that's how the strap line See Money Differently was born. Yeah. And Desmond, how then do we go about using this thinking to our advantage as South Africans, knowing exactly where we are right now economically? Pockets are burning and we yep. do need to yep. see things and see money differently. I think in using it differently, I mean, if you think about it, we all know how hard we work. Yes. We all are very astute about 
how much money we make, but it's in the matter of what do we do with that money. Mm -hmm. And that is where the call it tire hits the road. When the money lands in your hands, what you do with it, how you see that money, the money in your pocket, the money you save, the money you earn, the money you give, um, the money you invest. When you have that money in your hands, take it seriously. Take a thought before you actually consume it and say, how am I actually using this money? Yeah. Vanessa, how do you go about that? How do you see your money? I'm, I'm getting personal, but I, I, I I, I'd are. rather learn from the expert. <laughs> so how do you see money differently and, and use that thinking to your advantage? Do you know what? Um, so, so I don't work for money. Yeah. Yeah? I really, I don't work for money. But money gets me the things that I want. Money lets me live the life I want. So what I would encourage South Africans to do is to have a view of how would they live their lives. Hmm. Yeah? And so, yes, you have to have the here and now things that you need to save for or account for. It starts with budgeting. So how do you budget for your living expenses, for your short-term things, and then your longer-term things? Where I'm in my stage of my life, I love traveling, um, and I do a lot of good, and I try twice or three times a year to do a lot of good mm -hmm. in terms of, especially for kids. Yeah. And today's Youth Day, so it's really special. I actually save to give kids. Wow. Um, so it depends what you want in your life. How do you save for that? How do you manage your budget? But you must have a view of how you're going to spend your money. Mm -hmm. um, don't go about bl I don't go about blindly using my money. So you consciously look at Manage, management of your money and management of your money will allow you to lead this rich life, do good for people around you as well as live comfortably. Yeah. Another line that I really liked from the new TVC is the one that says, uh, now let your money hustle for you. Yes. Tell me about that and how, how the messaging comes together there. So again, in, in, it almost unpacks our, our, our ethos of, of see money differently. For us, we see our customers first and we realize just how hard they work. We realize just how passionate South Africans are, and we realize how they've turned their passions into daily work. But can you imagine if you could take that hard work and allow your money to work just as hard? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we say, your passion, our money expertise, your win. If you allow your money to work just as hard as you do, you might find it that your money can actually back some of the passions that you have in life. That would be absolutely amazing. That, that's like <laughs> life goals right there being painted out for me. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Vanessa, in terms of the year ahead, what, what is, uh, what, what's exciting out there in terms of uh, what consumers can expect yeah, from I banking and different things? I just want to build on what Desmond says. Mm. So we know South Africans hustle. Yeah. You know, hustle <laughs> is our thing. Every yeah? day we hustle. Every day we hustle. How many jobs do you have? Quite a number. Exactly. Quite a number. I now, don't sleep too often. Exactly. So South Africans have multiple jobs. Why? Because we call it they hustle to earn money. Mm -hmm. Now, when you hustle to earn money, your money's got to work equally hard for you. Yeah. That's when we come in. Because we understand that you really hustle to make this money. So what we do is we design products and services that will help your money grow harder mm -hmm. and make it work harder for you. Help your money grow and make it work harder for you. And because of that insight, we have managed to craft products and solutions. And one of the most important things that I'm really proud of right now, whilst we understand South Africans, some South Africans, not everybody's the same, some South Africans like to know exactly what they pay for their banking fees That's every true. month. Yes. And so we have a bundle option for them and a number of that. But there's a host of South Africans that are price conscious. True. And those that are price conscious, we've introduced a pay as you use account. And from as little as five rand a month, you can come into mainstream banking, do all your banking, do whatever you want for just five rand a month as your monthly fee. Five bucks. Five rand. <laughs> okay, I want to stop that train right about now because I, I need to let that sink in a little bit. That, that's incredible. Five rand. And we're going to be touching on uh, that a little bit more a bit later on. So do stay tuned as we carry on this conversation with Vanessa and Desmond after this. I'm a dreamer. A doer. I know the hustle. I just need my money to hustle for me.
Well, we're taking a quick break on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. As we celebrate Youth Day, we have Ubuntu Arts with us in studio. They're part of the Silent Cries production, currently taking place at the Artscape during their Youth Month. They look at that face. They're that's what the, for us after that's the break. what the Springboks faces look like right now. Another test up against France. We've got the ICC Champ Trophy happening this weekend. The final. We're going to get you all prepped with all of the details for that and more after the break. The new Tropica Island of Treasure theme tune is bringing sunshine into the lives of children in need. We can win this million. We're gonna find treasure by the smooth. Yeah. When you download the full song on iTunes or Google Play, proceeds from the sale of the song will be donated to Chalk Childhood Cancer Foundation, who support children with cancer and their families. Get the tune today and help make tomorrow a little brighter for brave boys and girls with Tropica, Island of Treasure, Seychelles. SMS CHOC to 33728 to receive the link to download to your phone. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50 and T's and C's are on tropica.co.za. Download and support these beautiful children. Very warm welcome back. We are live, large and in charge on this Friday morning on Youth Day. And of course, this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And we're back again with the lovely Vanessa Singh and Desmond Osmond from uh, Nedbank. And we've been catching up uh, with their very brand new See Money Differently campaign and how South Africans can be inspired to see money differently and ultimately have their money hustle for them too. That's like dream team kind of stuff. While you're sleeping, your money is hustling for you. And just before the break, uh, we were talking about this new offering that you had that is more cost-effective uh, for the more cost-conscious uh, consumer out there. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the thinking behind uh, the, the account that operates for as little as five rand. You know what, Katleko? Um, you know we have the NetBank Cup, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we've been at it for 10 years now. And our position um, in the 90s was around, we want to move away from being a corporate bank and a bank for the elite, but more for all in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And the Net Bank Cup allowed us to do that. And as we got closer and closer to our clients, um, we started understanding what they want from a bank. And that's the reason why we introduced the Five Rand account, because it makes every ordinary South African into mainstream banking. Yeah, and you think about every ordinary South African out there, and we, we spend money, like you use five bucks, you might take two five rands, put them together and buy. 10 rand airtime, or yep. you might collect it. At, at some point, I used to collect five rands and at the end of the year be able to spend what I collected in a bottle over holidays. So, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that this is maybe an enticing way of and, and letting South Africans say, well, this is an account that you can use that relates to what you go through on a daily basis? Exactly. There's still a lot of value in five rand. Mm -hmm. And if you look at 
being price conscious and being aware or in control of what of what you pay for. Yes. And then paying for what you use. I mean, South Africans as a whole understand the mantra of paying for what you use. And you find that as much as people still use contracts, bundles, and all of that good stuff, there are those people who prefer to have a price point that says, I know that for five rand I am getting X, and then for everything after that I pay X. Yeah. But there's a whole lot of free things that we've put into this exactly. account. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to bank on your tablet, or on your phone. Which I love doing. I, I, yeah. I, I, like, I don't have time to be going into bank these days. Please don't Plus. make me. <laughs> so cell phone banking, internet banking is for free. And we know you love to shop, so you can swipe the card and it's so free. Um, but very importantly, data has become the new currency in South Africa. True. Now, if you bank on the NetBank app, you don't need data. Wow. You don't need exactly. data to bank on the app. We've made it really easy for South Africans to bank. That is very, very convenient. I love the idea of that because you never know when you're caught up, let's say, uh, on a road trip in the middle of the Kalahari on your way to Otsuaran and then you need to pay somebody, but there's no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's absolutely brilliant. Okay. Um, but I also like the idea of, of saying this, that, that we work hard for our money and we want our money to work hard for us. So what is your advice in actually achieving this, to get your money to hustle as hard as you are? You know what I always say to to people about how hard you hustle and how hard your money should hustle for you. Think of it this way. How much money do you make in a minute? I've never even, even calculated that. I need to do that. How much time do you take to use five rand? It could happen very, very quickly. <laughs> so think to yourself, if I earn five rand per minute, should it not take me at least two minutes to think about how am I going to use my five rand? Wow. Be considered. Take your money seriously. Dude, you that are blowing my nice. mind right now. I need to just go and do some, just apply my accounting knowledge when I get back home and look at my budget. What am I actually making per hour, for, for instance, and how much am I actually spending? If I'm sitting in a restaurant and I'm paying for a meal this much, have I made that money in that amount of time? And that exactly. cappuccino. <laughs> how many cappuccinos do you use a day? And it costs more than five rand. <laughs> I need the minister. I need them. You could have done your month's banking on that cup. Oh, my <laughs> word. That's so true. Okay. But, uh, but then, then finally, I want, I want to ask your message to our youth. Let's talk to our young people out there and encourage them out there with making the right financial decisions early on. Because that's so, so important when you Critical. lose out on that time. What's your message to our youth? You know, Katleko, I've been, I've been so deeply immersed in what our, the youth in South Africa do. And young kids primary school, high school, university kids, and I must tell you, they are so astute. You'll be amazed how well tuned in they are mm -hmm. to um, the economy, uh, the plight in South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. But we as corporate citizens have to invest in the youth because they are our future. They will ensure that we have a robust economy going forward, but we have to respect them, nurture them, give them the tools for them to succeed. Wow. Thank you so, so much. Well, on this Youth Day, take that and put that in your Twitter. Let that inspire you. And I must say that the Five Rand account did catch my attention. <laughs> it, it definitely got me there. <laughs> now, if a no frills and transparent account with a flat monthly fee uh, allows you to pay only for what you are using interests you, then be sure to visit the NetBank website for more details. I'm a dreamer. A doer. I know the hustle. I just need my money to hustle for me. Five minutes past eight o'clock. Let's quickly get you updated on your weekend temperatures just for the last time on your Friday morning. And it looks like most parts of the country can expect a rather chilly start this morning with Bloemfontein kicking off the long weekend on around zero degrees. And then looking forward towards the weekend, specifically for Cape Town, you can expect a couple of morning showers. But uh, your temperatures for today, Polokwane begin op 5 graden, de stijg na maximum van 19. Mombela 8, 21, Pretoria 6, 22, Johannesburg 6 en een maximum van 20, Maikeng 9, 25. Klerksdorp 8 en een matige 24, Kimberley 25, 
Bloemfontein een ronde 0 graden en een warmer 20 later. Richards Bay 14-22. Pieter Marisburg 4-20. Durban 14-21. Mtata 3-18. East London 13-21. Craddock 3-17. Port Elizabeth 12-21. George on uh, 10 degrees minimum with a maximum of 20. Sutherland 2-13. Cape Town 12-19. Worcester 5 and a maximum of 20. Springbok 2-21. And Uppington 7 this morning and a maximum of 25. That's a wrap of your weather here in your Feel Good Breakfast Show for your Friday morning. So today being the 16th of June, we are celebrating Youth Day. What our youth of the country mean for our future and how powerful their voice has become. But now we're going to get really young with an unbelievable cast. I'm talking about Ubuntu Arts and their performance Silent Cries, which highlights how the actions and the views of a small group of people within a community can have far-reaching effects. Here they are with Silent Cries.
Goodness, ladies and gentlemen, come line up here. Isaac Colombo, Chantal Rutendo Gezer, Cleo Collop, Marlon Collop, guys, take a very big bow. You actually brought the sun out with that performance. <laughs> Hopefully that has inspired you on our youth day today. We'll see you after the break. Well done, guys. Yeah. Welcome back. Your timing is perfect. It's finally the weekend, which means there is an action-packed lineup of sports on the way and high-stakes sports at that. Ashfaq Mohammed joins Hi, us again. Thanks, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, well, we love pl pl plugging into your sports journalist brain, which I'm sure has smoke coming out of it <laughs> at the moment. Um, so much to talk about on the sporting front. Let's focus on the positive sentiment around the Bok brand at the moment. Yeah. I think largely due to the kind of rugby that we were playing yes. seems to be a, a, a systemic change in our approach. Yeah. But of course, our opening test against France, which we did take convincingly against an under par, I would say, French side, but maybe one that we'll see in the next World Cup yeah. being employed, a couple of newcomers, but of course they've got eight changes now. One false change for us is Jesse Creel is out with an injury. Lionel Mapu gets his, yes. his call up, but what do you think is going to need to change now looking at those eight heavyweight players that have come in in very key combinations, our halfback pairing for the French side. What needs to happen for Alistair Kutsia this weekend, tomorrow? Just in the spirit of youth day, the youthful exuberance of the Springboks last year, Ooh, yeah. last yeah. week, you know. Malcolm Marks, the youngest player in the team, 22 years old, man of the match in yeah. his first start for the Springboks. The way he ran with the ball, his line work was pretty good compared to last year. The and finesse. Also coming, yeah, yeah. the flooding as well, with Jesse Creel's try. Um, you know, just the way they played. They allowed someone like Alton Yankees to play his natural game. He wasn't told to stand in the pocket and just kick downfield. You know, he could mix it up. Sometimes he kicked downfield, sometimes he took it flat. And they just showed the kind of rugby that the Springboks can play. 
Do you think we've got enough now to beat a full-strength French outfit? It's going to be tough. Look, this French side got some serious talent. You saw this come off coming on last week. Baptiste Serra, uh, he's starting this time. Damien Penault, the son of former fly of Alain Penault, he's dangerous at, at uh, centre. And also Scott Spilling, former South African yeah, at the Sharks, he's now at yeah. fullback. So they've got a serious team and this is a real test for the box. I um, absolutely love it. Now we turn to the ICC Champions Trophy. I, I think we are, are obviously heartbroken that South Africa's out of the mix. But when you look at the way that India have dominated, we've got to tip our hats to Pakistan yes. making their first absolutely. ever final. Um, but this Indian side seems to be probably the most complete Indian side we've seen in a very long time. Their batting lineup goes all the way through. They're just a real professional nowadays, you know. In the past, they may have relied on the big talents like the Tendulkas and the Davids and that. And but now bang, they've got bang, some yeah. signs <laughs> to it, you know. And a guy like Virat Kohli, real top-class talent, probably the best batsman across all formats. Well, you know, 8,000 runs yeah, yesterday and you know, 175 innings, the fastest player. He beat AB to the mark. We thought AB's feat was impossible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the Indian batting is really strong. So I think it's Indian batting against the Pakistani bowling attack. They've got some lethal left armers here like the Wasim Akrams of old, you know. Yeah. Hassan Ali, uh, Junaid Khan, they can swing the ball both ways. And they brought the Yorker back. Yeah. That seems know, to be how yeah. they, they undid That's us. That's all toe they... crushes, man. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, who, who would you say this is going to India? I would say India, but Pakistan, you know, they can do it on a day. Oh, I absolutely <laughs> love it. I mean, we could sit and talk for hours, and we yeah. will hopefully do that on Monday yeah. morning. Um, we look forward to getting an update on the US Open as well. A couple yes. of South Africans in the mix there as well. But soak up every drop, my friend. And Samina last night, she did brilliant again in Oslo. Uh, and she is our girl, our yes. golden girl, our yeah. diamond girl, actually, yes. in the Diamond League. Ashwak, thank you so much for Thanks, joining us this morning, man. We absolutely love it. I um, mean, you can let us know which teams are you supporting. What do you make of the Springboks? Hopes a newly looked and designed Springbok side ahead of that test against France tomorrow at Kings Park Stadium. All right, it is hashtag Bri Friday because on a weekend, of course, we have to, Bri. And it's a very special day today because I have my eldest boy with me, Kian, and we're going to make some of our favorite things. And that favorite things are what? Burgers. Mm -hmm. We like burgers. Do you like your burgers? Yes. All right, so you're going to help me today? Yes. You know, because it doesn't matter how cold it gets, you know, we as South Africans, we need to bry. So we're going to put together Superior, the do ultimate burger. Do you mind if I step burger. in here? Do you mind brother if I step man. in? Because when I see a burger that looks this good, my brother, I've got to get Look, in there. Thanks, You have dude. no Thanks, idea. So, so also, just for, for, for the bry heads out there, we are using the Genesis 2 S340 bry with a GS4 grilling system, which makes sure that it lights every single time. It's got a very hot setting. If you want to sear those steaks as well, it's a mean piece of a um, And okay. it delivers a beautiful smoky taste as well, which I absolutely That's love. And it's going to be ideal for the burger with the, the taste treatment that you've yeah. got going on here, dude. And also, stick because we're going to tell you how, can you, how you can win one of two Weber 57-centimeter uh, charcoal brides. All right, just by SMSing that uh, keyword bride to 3372. Dude, my mouth is watering. Get All into right, the Kim. meal. Yeah. So Come we on, got some, we got some meat here, Kian. So I'm going to ask you to throw this in. This is some ground coriander. Okay. Just throw that in there. Goeiem. Goeiem out in, Miss Yen. Ah, say. Mooi gegooi. All right. A little bit of smoked paprika. Goes oh, in there as well. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you. Well, this has been the year of the hero burger, Scr hey? Scratch that out. There we Oops, go, there well we done. Go. And a little bit of time, there were some onions. Oh, dude, eh? There we I mean, this go. This is quite a zhuzh burger, bro. Hey? And then we're just going to put a little bit of salt and some pepper. I like the flair on your pinch, eh? You know, you got to have that flair. you got to have the flair. All right, and now, Kim, we're just going to mix all of this together. Okay, but there's a, there's a little surprise that we're all going to do with this burger, right? Oh. I'll show oh. you now. <gasps> you see, now that's normally the reaction I have, dude. Yeah. So I'm going to use my it. hands here. So uh -huh. just make it nice and mushy. <laughs> Kian, does your dad make nice burgers normally? Yes. yes. Very nice burgers. Hey. So okay. what I'm going to do is, <laughs> now we're just going to shape, shape our patties, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is where it gets very interesting. And I'll show you now, Kian, what we're going to do. So we make a nice little patty like this. And it's got to be nice and big and thick. A nice one, but we're not done yet because here we have some feta cheese. All right, oh, so we want dude. that little bit of feta surprise. We're going to make a little hole in the middle. I'm just going to pop some feta in there so you get it nicely. Obviously, when you, when you sear a burger like this, you want that extra high heat. Yeah. And our GS4 grilling system, it really does ensure that the burn is not only light every time, as Ewan was saying, but it can burn at an incredibly high heat so you can sear the outside, keep that flavor yeah. inside. And there we go. Mm -hmm. And then it goes onto the bride. Yeah. Easy as that. Absolutely okay. love it. So I'm going to let you kind of work on your 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 second patty there because it's one, <laughs> two, three, and they need to be superhero sized as well. Okay, okay. Um, but we're going to go through a little bit of a recap here quickly, show you how we put together these masterful patties, and they really do look like a masterclass in burger making. Take a look. Absolutely.
Look at it. What did you say just now? I want to eat it now. I want to eat it right now. <laughs> it is starving. So just a little bit of an onion marmalade to top it off. And we have some tomato on there, some lettuce, and you have the ultimate ah, burger. Ah, ah, well done, man. You've outdone yourself this morning. This is a Father's Day bry <laughs> for none. And if you guys want to emulate this at home, we've got an unbelievable Father's Day prize for you guys. Hold on. And we've got two Weber 57 centimeter Master Touch with GBS charcoal brys up for grads. So if you SMS the keyword bry to double three seven two eight, not only do you get the ingredients list for these awesome patties, but you will automatically be <laughs> entered into that competition. You can find all of the terms and conditions on expressoshow.com. Um, and again, the keyword is bright. Double three huh? seven two eight. Okay, are you ready to eat, Ken? Are you ready to dive into that burger? Are you looking? Look, oh, do you think you can you get, get this in your mouth? mouth? Come on! <laughs> oh, no ways. We'll see you after the break, guys. We'll be back with more Father's Day and Youth Day celebrations here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. I'm, I'll be driving for you. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. And it's time for Hashtag Friday. Funny is proudly brought to you by the Cape Town Comedy Club, where we take a look at the biggest stories of the week to find a bit of humor in the crazy world we live in. Here to help us do that this morning is comedian extraordinaire Mel <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Hello. Extraordinaire. <laughs> darling, how are you? Yeah, I love it. Well, I'm extraordinary, <laughs> apparently. So that's Listen, fabulous. Happy Youth Day. Happy Youth Day to you Thank guys, you. too. Well, Thank Actually, you. I don't know that I qualify. But let's not forget that obviously yeah. Youth Day commemorates the Soweto uprising, which changed, essentially changed the course of history. Yes. Mm -hmm. And these days we can't even get youth to really change a channel on TV. Because, oh, you know, oh. back in my day, yeah. Yeah. one would have no to TV. get up yes. to go and change a channel on TV. And also, just for the record, for those of you who are saying, back in my day, you can no longer call yourself a youth. <laughs> oh, okay. I won't be saying that anytime <laughs> soon then. So, but I mean, parents and adults do that a lot. You know, back in my day, we mm. didn't have Google. We had to walk two kilometers to the bus stop to get a bus to go to the library because we didn't have a library. Stop exaggerating. Oh, wow. You know, you were a youth <laughs> in the 90s. It yeah. wasn't that odd. It was not yeah, exactly. that hard. So we kind of have to go with the whole idea of... Yeah. Let us not be jealous of the children. Oh. We know that they have it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. We know that, I mean, I was in the, at the airport the other day, there was this child, couldn't have been like 10, 11, 12 years old, crying, bawling his eyes out like someone stole his puppy. Yeah. Turns out he ran out of data. No. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow. I was like, so wow. if that's the biggest problem you have, Doesn't good for you. Wi -Fi <laughs> wi -Fi? Password wasn't okay. working, right. apparently. Okay. Yeah, chef. Sure. Because back in my day, we didn't have Wi Fi. Yeah. Hmm. Well, listen, <laughs> listen, um, I think this is going to be a day a lot of people will be talking about the day Beyonce gives birth to her twins. I think she's probably the most searched person on the interwebs at the moment because I went and looked, has she given birth yet? 
Every, this has been carrying on for a while now. It's a, has she given birth? Hasn't she given birth? Is she in labour? Isn't she in labour? People have been speculating since Wednesday. Trust me, if she's been in labour since Wednesday, someone needs to check that out. <laughs> this, this is not healthy. Uh, but this she's giving a, birth to royalty, so come on. No, but there's, there's also a lot of name predictions. Mm -hmm. What is she going to call it? Probably gender are, predictions as gender well. Gender predictions. Yeah. If it's going to be boys, because her daughter's blue. Yeah. If it's going to be boys, are they going to be magenta and fuchsia? Oh, wow, okay. Are they going to go with song names? Are they, is she going to give tribute to Prince, call him Raspberry Beret? Ooh, and ciao. And little red Corvette, you know, purple so, rain. Yeah, exactly purple yeah. rain. Yeah, well, it could be anything. Could, could be, be anything. Could be yellow submarine, green green grass of home, little, uh, nice and white satin, black velvet. We want black coffee to be oh. the godfather. Okay. If, okay. if she lived in Cape well, Town. Well, I'm Zoe Brown, so maybe I could, I could, I could there qualify go. there for some add some to the color palette. <laughs> Listen, there we could continue go. chatting with Mal for ages, and of course, we really, really want to, but time does not afford us. But what you can do is you can go and check out the Cape Town Comedy Club because you'll get to see her and so many more extraordinary mm. comedians <laughs> of course uh, changing the way we see comedy and taking it to that next level Mel you're amazing I love you no you are happy you, you, day. you. happy you happy day. Day. your day you girl <laughs> I uh, always love having Mel in the uh, studio, man. Masterclass. Absolutely, masterclass. absolutely. Love her. Right now, onto something rather inspiring. Now, kindness has the power to change lives in ways that we've actually never imagined. And sometimes all it takes is one small giving gesture. Yep, and a 16 year old Bulalani hopes for a better life for himself. And the Underdog Project teaches kids like him how children and pups can work together towards that better future. Now, he is using the knowledge to educate his community and help these beautiful animals find their forever, forever homes as well. <laughs> My name is Bulelani Pomini. I am 16 years old. I stay here in Hard Bay with my very supportive parents. When I grew up, it was very tough for me as a young boy um, because there were a lot of gangsterism, killing people, fighting, and dog fighting. I try my best to stay out of it. I go to school and I try to take all the extramurals that I can, and I have to be an example in my community. One of my teachers told me about Doug. She told me that there's a project that will be run, the Underdog Project, and I got attached to it. The Underdog Project started in 2007 and paired rescue dogs with youth like Bulelani. Youth could find emotional support in the dogs, and the dogs benefit from training and affection. From the start, there was something different about him. He was just really gentle, really sensitive and good with the dogs. And yeah, just a really kind of magical connection with the dogs. So this is Flash. He is 18 months. Um, he's a mixed breed of a Steffi and a pit bull. I learned through him that not all of the pit bulls and the Steffis are, are bad dogs. He's a sweet boy. Sadly, many of these youth only grow up seeing dogs used in illegal fights. The project completely changes their perception and teaches them to treat dogs with love. Some of my favorite things about Flesh are, firstly, he's cute. He's, he's a good dog and I love the breed. And, it makes me happy. Every dog here is completely different. Some need to be ran with and played with, um, and some need to be kind of soothed and calmed and spoken to quietly. By working with the dogs' individual needs, teens learn the value of respect, perseverance and empathy. He makes me happy when I'm sad, when I had a bad day at school or at home, when I just come and see him. I just relax and I make sure that everything that I do, I do it for him. This deep emotional connection between humans and animals creates a safe space for animal welfare and life skills education, which grows to uplift the entire community. They teach the young kids how to be good owners and they also teach the adults how to be an example to the kids in order for them to learn from them how to take care of the animals, how to be a better person in life. He's been here longer than I have, and he came as a, as a, as a graduate, um, and then he came back as a past grad. So that was a massive thing, the empathy in Bulalani. He would just feel the dog's stress or feel their um, anxiety, and just really work with that unique dog and their special needs. 
proof that the Underdog Project works is that 97% of the dogs in the program find their forever homes. Thanks to support from Hills, the project continues to provide long-term emotional benefits as well as practical skills for the youth. A lot of these children have not had the best upbringing, they haven't had the most love or attention, so they can be a bit kind of hard or, or shut down. But when the dogs come out, they really form a bond, they love their dogs and they miss their dogs when they go. I love the Underdog Project because I love to train dogs. In school, when we're learning about dogs, I already know my dog because he gives me all the time to know him better, to run and do everything I really like together. When I had school, I heard that there was an underdog project. I thought that um, maybe that would make a difference about me because I was just sitting and doing no after school projects. And then I signed in there because I did not know what's going on at the underdog project. I thought that you just wash dogs and feed them, but I learned a lot. My hope is that they'll continue to work together and the kids go on to fulfill their potentials. I try to teach the young kids yeah, what to do, how to take care of animals, and how to be good owners of dogs. When he's healthier, he's happier, and a dog's tail never lies. Give him the science of happy, found in Hills, the brand recommended by vets worldwide. Oh, beautiful stuff on your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Friday morning. You know what's also beautiful? The what? fact that uh, Tropica launched a new twist for viewers to stand a chance of winning a taste of ultimate paradise with a new Tropica Slender. Now, every day we've asked our viewers to go out and buy Tropica Slender and then go onto Tropica's social pages to comment on the post with their own twist ending using hashtag Slender Twist, all to stand a chance of winning hampers and, of course, go into that draw to win a trip for two to the Seychelles, courtesy oh. of Air Seychelles and uh, the Savoy Resort and Spa. This has been so exciting. Now, every Friday, we'll be announcing the four weekly hamper winners and the weekly finalists that will go into the draw for the grand prize. Mm -hmm. So we want to say congratulations to, number one, Ramona Moodley, mm -hmm. number two, Lebohang Mashila, and then number three, <laughs> Kalek Mnifalan. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> yes. Now for our weekly winner, who will go into the draw to stand a chance of winning the grand prize if she gets the question correct today. Mm -hmm. And that is... Ramona. Ramona! Ramona, we've got Ramona on the line right now. Good morning, Ramona. Morning. Oh, are you ready for this? Um, as ready as I can be. As ready as you can Ooh. be. So as you know, you have to get this question answered correctly in order to go into the draw to stand a chance of winning that. Okay, so here okay. is the question I am asking you. How many twist flavors does Tropica Slender have? Is it A, 4, or B, 17? Ramona, what's your answer? 4. Yeah! Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> She can't believe it. She's like, that is Thank amazing, you. Ramona. Thank Remember you. that you can also enter by answering with your own twist to the story. T's and C's can be found on tropica.co.za. We're going to take a quick ad break. The awesomeness continues after the break. Struggle with commitment? Before trying anywhere else, book on Travel Start. We will turn your guilt trips into good trips. Book flights from 499 Rand. Only on travelstart.co.za.
Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in as we celebrate Youth Day here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And what an unbelievable day it has been thus far. So I'm hoping you've heard about our new Metro Expresso Movie Club. Not only do we give you the opportunity to check out some of the coolest movies on the biggest and best cinemas in South Africa, but sometimes we also throw in some awesome giveaways like this one. Win a jet-setting movie experience with New Metro and Expresso. One lucky person and their partner will enjoy flights to New York and accommodation in Manhattan to attend a fan screening of the action-packed new film War for the Planet of the Apes, attended by three of the main cast members. To enter, SMS the keyword New York and your name to 40675 by the 22nd of June. Winners must have a valid South African passport and all the T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. All right, of course, we're all very excited. It is hashtag Bry Friday, and this morning we're spending some time with renowned Cape Town butcher Andy Finney. He's here to talk to us about meat, how to get the perfect steak as well, and also about a brand new book that he wrote, uh, The Meat Manifesto. Dude, nice to have you, brother. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, this is very interesting. I love the fact. So this is everything you need to know when it comes to meat, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, a lot of recipes in there, but also a little bit of philosophy around how we source animals we work with, and also trying to get people to make an attachment with the animal it came from and the meat that's the resultant. All right, so this, so this morning we're going to be making a flat iron steak with a fried egg. I mean, this is a classic uh, kind of dish as well. Steak and eggs, it's fantastic. It looks amazing, but we're not using the flat iron steak. Yeah, so flat iron is an interesting steak uh, that we cut from the animal's shoulder blade. It sits just on top of the shoulder blade, but Denver is very similar. It sits just below the shoulder blade. So both very similar, both cook similar times, great in a pan with some butter and olive oil. And a good one coming up to Father's Day to cook for the old man. Fantastic. Let's put it together, man. How do we even start off? See, we've got our meat there, obviously. Yeah, so very, very simple. Because all of this meat is grass-fed, um, there's so much flavor built in there already that we kind of just use salt and pepper to highlight them. But I'm not big on marinades and sugars and yeah. spices and things like that. So, yeah, really just some salt and pepper. That's the thing, I think, you know, a lot of people tend to think when it comes to meat and prepping the meat, you know, you got to go with the spices and that, but keep it simple. Yeah, I and think really uh, if you've sourced it from someone who's cared about where that meat is, has uh, been farmed, yeah. there'll be so much flavor in there already. All right. Cool. So, so pop that in the pan. Yeah, our pan's on sort of medium, medium heat. Um, as I said, this will cook very, very quickly, so yeah. a couple of minutes each side. Now, you've worked with, with meat for pretty much your whole life, so I'm sure, you know, it was just a natural step for you to bring out, you know, this cookbook. Yeah, I mean, the book is really just a chance to put all of those philosophies on paper. So loads of recipes in terms of quite uh, easy, approachable kind of cuts, but also some of the more unusual, offerly kind of things that people might get a bit freaked out about. But um, yeah, a great way for me to sort of showcase our philosophy at the butchery and also just sort of walking people through how to cook various things as well. All right. Well, we are giving away a copy of the Meat Manifesto this morning. All you need to do is estimate the keyword beef to 33728. Not only will you get the recipe for our beef or our steak recipe this morning, but you'll go into the drawer to win yourself this uh, Meat Manifesto cookbook as well. Perfect Father's Day gift as well. Um, so, so on that note for Father's Day, if you want to go about prepping, you know, the perfect piece of meat on the briar. What, what, is, what, are, what are some of your top tips, I think, to really get the most out of your meat? <clears throat> well, I always season my meat way further in advance than people would think. So you can actually salt your meat up to two, three, four hours. You can even salt really? it overnight. Uh, what that does is brings a lot of moisture out of the meat and then reacts with the salt, so it actually ends up brining the steak. Um, okay. Which means when you cook it, that, that water won't just uh, seep out of the meat, it'll actually retain it. So it'll stay juicy. So you yeah. can actually salt your meat um, in advance. Yeah. And then, yeah, just source, source from someone who can answer as many questions as possible, you know. So find yeah. someone who actually cares about the product they're selling. Um, okay. have, a, have, a, have a bit of a discussion about it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I personally like um, cooking meat on a fire. So, yeah. yeah, I'll cook it to sort of medium rare. All and right. just keep it very simple, yeah. And then, and then, obviously, just to finish off the recipe, fried egg on top and see a bit of a, what is this, chives. Yeah, so that's just some chives, some sriracha, and because we're using grass-fed beef, you've got all this amazing flavored oil in the pan. Yeah. So we'll just crack an egg into there afterwards and just use the spoon to just baste it continuously. Awesome. So very, very simple, yeah. Andy, thank you very much, man. There we go, the perfect piece of meat. Estimate the keyword beef to 33728. You get the recipe, you'll also go into the drawer to win yourself a copy of the Meat Manifesto by Andy. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you, dude. Thank that's you. That's it, and have a lucky Father's Day.
Well, thanks, dads. Uh, all while we celebrate June 16 Youth Day today, a day that gives us a chance to reflect on how we can proactively invest in our future and by our future, I mean our youth, and focus on initiatives that act as a beacon of hope. Now, Woolies and my school believe in making such worthwhile investments, and they've partnered with uh, several NGOs around the country that make a difference. And today, we're joined by one of our favorite lads, Senor Cal Wasty, and two young motivators from Moot South Africa, a youth development program that is making a difference in the lives of young South Africans out there. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. And happy yeah. Youth yes. Day, guys. Happy Youth Day. Thank man. you. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 I, 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 I thought I was being fancy. I was like, yeah, it's M O T South Africa. No, no, it's <laughs> Moot South Africa. You tell know. me, tell me about Moot South Africa and what Moot South Africa does for our young people out there, guys. So uh, ek moot se, um, because it's just part of, and, and, you know you, you saw it coming. I, I had to be. Sit, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, Moot South Africa, it's, a, it's just a, a fantastic organisation, and um, the whole idea is so just to kind of build robust youth because yeah. we need that in this day and age you know there are so many influences around and we have to make sure that our youth are strong and resilient to the exposure to a lot of different things and I can tell you that um, you know just to ensure that we are we, are, we have to build youth who are making conscious choices you yeah. know who are really um, you know who are just kind of courageous with regard to what is happening around them and going beyond their circumstances we want to build youth who know that there is full potential to be achieved as well yeah. and more importantly you know when you when you kind of go through a MUT program you have to become a role model in your own community as well. Because the thing is, when you look at role models, like these two over here, they're mm -hmm. proper role models. I mean, there's, there's certain values that you have to sort of embed in people. So for instance, like, you have courage to live. Yes. And then... Courage to gain. And then... Courage to say no. We didn't even rehearse that. N <laughs> you know? It was so spontaneous. Yes, yeah, exactly. I love it. What, is, what does youth day mean to you guys? Well, what? to me, it means being, youth, being youthful, mm -hmm. being able to wake up every day and express yourself freely without judgment mm -hmm. from anybody and just being you uniquely and being able to celebrate to celebrate yourself mm. yes. it also means being able to freely yes. just walk on set during interviews thanks yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool okay yes. that's part of the yeah yes. sort of what, absolutely and, yes. but what do you think are some of the most important things that we should be teaching our young people uh, in this day and age my brother well um, personally i believe that the youth no longer have that you know mental capabilities of to think that I can do this, it's about me and not... It's about them, but it starts with me somewhere, because mm -hmm. I have to believe I can make a change in someone else's life. So the youth, I think, lack in that aspect now, because we're so focused on fitting in and whatnot, we forget that we ourselves are individuals that yeah, need yeah. that, you know, support it's that we can give to It's got to start with the self first mm -hmm. before you exactly, can, the you man can in the mirror. seed. All right, and so what about ways in which uh, the community out there can help and get involved in the programs that you guys are putting out there and what Mood South Africa is doing. How can, how can I help? Well, the thing is, you know, uh, it's amazing that my school got on board and donated 30,000 Rand because we have these young motivator camps. And what that essentially is, is just a camp to kind of, you know, when we say bold role models, mm -hmm. we have to equip people with skills. And that's why these camps are very, very important. And yeah. our new drive is to ensure that we are creating future fathers. You know, Father's Day is on Sunday. Yeah, and, you know, if you think about the young men in South Africa, now more than ever we need to create these uh, role models and ambassadors especially in the household so to create leaders we have to have these camps so mm -hmm. my school's donated 30,000 rand which is, has allowed us to put 20 male students into these camps and the thing is there, are, there is still a chance for you and I to assist so all you have to do is you know before the 30th of June yeah. just use your my school card or your linked Woolies card mm -hmm. and as soon as you swipe that there will be a contribution to Mut South Africa to allow us to put on more of these camps so we can create future fathers who are conscious in terms of their choices, but more importantly, really strong leaders in the household. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'd love to do as well, once uh, the camp is done? Have some of those guys come to the show and let's talk to them about, you know, what it is that they've learned and what it is that they're going to be doing with those skills and the knowledge that they've acquired at these camps to further their communities and further themselves as well at the end of the day. Absolutely. It's very, very important though. And it's all about principle as well. Yeah. But principles are simple though. You have to focus on the positive. You have to ensure that you are um, an individual who is just, you know, kind of strong. Yeah. And more importantly, you have to see the whole person, see the whole context, not yeah. just the actions, but be proactive as well. Don't yeah. just wait for things to happen and then respond. Be proactive. Think about the future. All right. And you know, we're doing, like you said. Ons moet. Yes. South Africans must yes. do it. And I think ultimately, like uh, Carl was saying earlier on, it's about that courage. That's what Youth Day embodies. The courage, uh, of course, that was exemplified by those learners of 1976 and the courage uh, of our youth today to stand up for what is right and for themselves as well. Thank you very much to Carl, to Lucia and Oriel, uh, Oriello for coming on to the show. And thank you very much to everyone out there who has supported initiatives like this through their My School card. And of course, 
or supporting initiatives like this with every single amazing swipe and purchase that you make at your local Woolworth store. Now, if you haven't signed up yet, the uh, question is, what are you waiting for? Mm, yeah, it's awkward now, isn't it? Mm, let's go to an ad break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Saving on travel is quick and easy with Travel Start. When you book any flight at travelstart.co.za, you will receive a voucher for 50% off your next two Uber rides to or from the airport. Simply enter the voucher code in the Uber app when you book your ride at your convenience. It's just another amazing way to enjoy hassle-free, budget-friendly travel when you have Travel Start to take you all the way for half the price with Uber. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Friday morning, Youth Day. Yes, it is Expresso. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back again with the lovely Vanessa Singh and Desmond Osmond from NetBank. And we've been catching up on their new See Money Differently campaign and how South Africans can be inspired to see their money differently and ultimately have their money hustle for them. And uh, one thing that we did talk about during the break as well and about <laughs> why my, my heart is a little bit sore uh, is because I'm going to be missing out on the NetBank Cup final. Wow. <clears throat> uh, not that? because I'm not going to be there, but my team isn't there. Oh. Uh, it's all going down on the 24th of June. And this year marks a very exciting year because it's the 10th year of the Net Bank Cup, which is absolutely amazing. What does it mean to you as, as an organization, as a bank? You know, we were quite deliberate in going um, into soccer because we know one of the key number one passions yes. of South Africans is soccer. People refer to football mm -hmm. or soccer. And you know, number two is actually music. Really? Yeah, two is music. So we chose soccer because of South Africans' passion. Mm -hmm. And the NetBank Cup has been amazing. We've had an amazing 10 years of soccer exhilaration in South Africa. That's a good memory right there. I, I like that. Can we hold that particular picture <laughs> on screen right now? I'm a cussy for life. <laughs> but with this being the 10th yeah. year of celebration, you also have a very exciting surprise for our viewers. Could you please let us in on that now? Yeah, because we, it's our 10th anniversary, uh, we want our customers, NetBank customers, to celebrate the finals with us. So even though we are taking over 100 NetBank clients and their partners on a VIP experience to Durban mm. um, on the 24th at Moses Mabida. It's going to be awesome. It's the first night finals we're ever going to have. In our 10 years, we've never had it. Mm -hmm. um, but what's so lovely, what we'd really like to do today uh -huh. is we'd like to give Drum two... Drum roll. <laughs> two, uh, we'd like to give two tickets to an Expresso listener or viewer that's also a NetBank client. So if you're a NetBank client and you'd love to go to the finals and um, in VIP style, oh, wow. uh, 
All you have to do is answer one simple question. Which is? Which is, how many years is NetBank involved in the NetBank Cup? I would call like 10 times right now. Uh, <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> all right, all right. So you need to give us a call then at home. The number is 021-430-9881. And the simple question is, how many years are we celebrating the NetBank Cup this year? Right? Yep. All right, and of course, remember, this is for uh, net bank account holders. And I'm just saying, I make a very good chaperone if you need somebody to just there marshal. Plus one. <laughs> <laughs> plus one on the side there. But let's quickly talk about the passion players because it's been very exciting. We've had the uh, celebrity captains join us on the show and talk about their passions. What brought this idea along? So passion playoffs, uh, Vanessa's brainchild, as I, as, as I call it, we kind of realized that South Africans are quite engaged when it comes to social media. They love their, di their, their digital platforms, they love their phones, they love to engage. But also, as Vanessa has already spoken about it, soccer is a number one passion in the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we've invested for over 10 years, I'm not giving anything away there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we thought, how do we expand this investment into passion, South African passions? How do we speak to probably passions that over and over exceed soccer. How do we talk to the person at home that loves cooking? How do we talk to somebody that really loves music? Yeah. How do we talk to somebody that likes makeup, comedy, or else auto? Um, and then we thought, and where do we speak to them? We speak to them where they are, in their digital platforms, on their phones. So an idea was born to do a Facebook Live, mm -hmm. just like we do with the NetBank Cup, knockout tournament that showcases South African passions, yeah. which was eight passionate celeb passion captains to go toe to toe every week on Facebook Live and call upon South Africans to back them and say, hey, I'm passionate about that. I'm going to back David Tlaile to make that dress look as smart as he can, yeah. while others go, hey, I'm going to go all in and go behind Boiti with, 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 with exercise. <laughs> I see what and you did there. Exciting. <laughs> And I mean, you, you, you're so right now. I mean, also with a super passionate referee yeah. in Som Gaga. Oh, he's he's killing. Some Gaga, you can't. But I mean, we, we live in that generation right now, and I think you encapsulated it, Vanessa, when you said we don't, you don't work for money. Mm -hmm. South Africans are, are focused on taking what they love, love and doing. making that work for them, and that bring in the money. So, what would you, be your advice then to somebody who wants to use their passion and turn it into a profit? I think. Um, Firstly, you must go for it. Don't hold back. There's, you get lots of help. I always say, God helps those that help themselves. If you want something really hard and you're prepared to work hard for it, then we at NetBank will stand behind you. Mm -hmm. okay, so whether you're starting a small business, we're going to make it really easy for you um, as you start your small business. You know, our banking accounts give you as much as 40% savings for a small business person. Or whether you're... Um, I must tell you, we've done so much for the youth. All our products and our services are geared to help youth succeed. It's Youth Day, mm -hmm. and we've got done things to help them succeed, like Talks for Success. Yes. You know, Talks <laughs> for Success, you were an igniter, um, and how do people uh, live their passion and excel in what they want to do and make it their business? That's yeah. their craft. And we've got some exciting things planned for the youth um, early in the new year. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's around how do we make all South Africans live their dreams and succeed. Yeah, I think you're about to make a South African's dream come true right now. You've nearly blocked our lines. Can I just say that? <laughs> well, when you lose the competition, we've got uh, Tanya on the line. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Chris Lefner. Thank you so much. You're incredible and you're such an inspiration to us all. Oh. And thank you to the Net Bank team and the answers 10 years. Good oh. day! Tanya didn't even wait for us to ask the question again. <laughs> <laughs> Got straight into it. Is she a Net Bank client? <laughs> Tanya, you are a Net Bank client? Yes, I am. And both awesome. Just my personal and my business. Oh, so awesome. 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 Thank awesome. you, Net Bank. Tanya, wait, who, which team are you hoping will win? Uh, sure. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. You can send us pictures when you're there. Enjoy the experience, and thank you so much for calling in. Uh, happy oh, Youth Day to you, Tanya. Thank you so much, Kate, and thank you to Ned Bank. You guys rock. Thank you so much. <laughs>
<laughs> Tanya all the way from Sunning Hill. Sunning Hill. Thank you. You've certainly made her day and you've made ours as well. So thank you so, so much for joining us. We really do, do appreciate it. Congratulations to Tanya. Oh my goodness. And there you have it. Uh, if you definitely, if you think that you've got what it takes to go out there, make, you know, your own personal dreams come true, your own personal passions, uh, whether it just be you starting off, as we said now, a small business or whether you are in big business, uh, NetBank certainly has the products to help you out there uh, in your endeavors. So do visit their website, nedbank.com for more details. I'm a dreamer, a doer, I know the hustle, I just need my money to hustle for me. Oh, now, I hope you all agree at home that this has been the most inspirational Youth Day celebration we've had here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And we're going to round it off in the perfect way. And we're going to get you on your feet with one of the coolest groups in Cape Town. In fact, in South Africa, I'm talking about the young Guguletu stars, a Pansula crew that are dancing their way to titles, even at their tender age, brought together by the talented Danzo Maparo, of course, we know as the Dance King. But they have to speak for themselves through their feet. And ladies and gentlemen, giving you an unbelievable taste of Pansula. It's our Google Air to Stars doing Utando or Love. <laughs> Lingas Entertainment. <laughs> of 1976. Long live. Another feel-good production.
que te diga, bolsa e a pina, mulher. Sing along, I sing along, and I sing along. 